Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q. We're working with the Kundalini energies or the Ascension stuff. <laughs> it's like, anyway, so this will be my third Kundalini uh, video, and we're going to talk about one specific thing. And so sometimes when we're having different experiences with solar eclipse or lunar eclipse or the energies or the Schumann resonance or whatever, whatever you're looking at, you know, we have opportunities to have unique, strange, and amazing anomalies that come through some of these uh, states of consciousness. And so the one I'm going to focus on today um, is really about uh, when I was a realtor back in Texas, and um, I apparently um, was not able to work with um, electricity or batteries. It was really about batteries. And so this is the funniest thing, but, you know, and that's part of my real estate. I was a real estate broker, and every time I'd go in to access the door, <laughs> you know, with my, with my um, sellers or buyers or whatever, I could not use the devices that were, that were there. There were three devices. It was an iPhone, a pod, and then you have the, uh, the lockbox on the door. So there's three devices, and, and it co constantly failed. And so it was so crazy. Even when I was at the house, um, I, you know, the batteries that were fine, and then I still could not use the TV. So all of these things were kind of conspiring to do something for me, you know. And it was probably about a five or six month period of time where I was not a able to open up a lockbox. And then one day I had a good friend. And um, I asked her to, like, here's all my devices, here's all my passwords, um, can you, you know, well, I, actually what I did at the very beginning, as I said, I'm going to try to open the door to the lockbox, and I had an error. Then I gave her all of my passwords, and then um, I walked away, maybe about 15 feet away, and then it worked for her, all right? So that was the beginning of me understanding something's different something has changed and what else can I do to have a better experience with opening up a freaking hot box, you know? And so that was a huge uh, win when my friend, my beautiful friend Kim um, was assisting with me and the house was beautiful and we just, I just was able to uh, just acknowledge that she can do it, but I can't. So what part of me is not able to have a better experience with, with real estate, with prosperity, with abundance? Because uh, during that period of time, the abundance was kind of waning, you know, because I was not able to um, access uh, the log box. You know, I'm a realtor, right? I was. Um, anyway, so eventually I... After that conversation with her when she opened it and I couldn't do it, then I thought, well, there's something about me that is going to assist me. And then eventually what I started to do, and a lot of people think I was like kind of like a, you know, <laughs> it's kind of, I was kind of a goofy realtor or broker, but I was doing it for, for on and off for like 40 years, you know, so it's like crazy, you know, crazy. Um, but I decided before I would go into attempting to open a lockbox, I would go into uh, a real quick meditate, a real quick experience or meditation, very, very quick. I just wanted to root myself from the, uh, from my lumbar, you know, from my lumbar and from get and just send those uh, beautiful energies all the way into, um, you know, the lower back, the upper legs, lower legs, feet, and then just keep working with the energies and then eventually moving into uh, going into going into the inner earth and sending all of that beautiful energy that I have, right? Because apparently I had a lot of energy, right? And then it, sending it right into the high heart of Gaia, the planet Earth, okay? And then we would just sit there for just a moment and then all of a sudden, kind of like the roots are just coming back up to surface and back into my, my lower back. So that was a pretty quick assessment. So after... Again, when my friend, 
showed me that I that she could do it, but I couldn't do it, then I thought, well, there's something else I need to do. And that's when I began doing um, a lot of these practices that make sense. And so for myself, it was about batteries. You know, anything that I had a battery. Let's just say I had a remote control. I had a nice big TV, but then I could not use the remote. <laughs> I could turn it on, but I could not... Um, you know, look at the different channels or shows or anything. And that was about six months of no TV. Okay, so, but when we're looking at some of these Kundalini experiences or what we call the Ascension stuff, or maybe things shifted again, like the solar lunar eclipses, all of these energies are assisting us. And I think even back before when I was really looking at it, that I could not open up a door, you know, a, <laughs> a lock box, you know, on a, on a door, um, is I just started noticing that something else is conspiring to assist me. And I think that conspiring to assist me was at that moment that my friend opened the door and I couldn't do it, I realized it's it's an inside job. And it took me about six months to really understand and discern what was really happening to me. Why did that happen? What was going on? I don't even know what, what the whole story was about, but I just started finding better solutions, better better results with just taking a moment before and so even after I you know could get back into the lockbox and you know put a, have a person come into the house I just set up just for a moment I have this funny little because I'm kind of quirky right apparently I'm quirky I don't know. <laughs> anyway but then I am um, I just said just give me a minute because I do a little bit of a you know blessing to put go into the house but basically I was doing that meditation just sending out that energy all the way down from my lumbar to the top of the legs lower legs into the planet into the high heart of Gaia and then just comes right back up and that was all I needed to do so sometimes when you're looking at something like it's failing I can't do it I you know I'm like so messed up I don't know how to, I don't know what's happening with me now but I think that that was a win for me when I realized that um, there's something I can do but it took me like six months I mean just terrible right six months to understand what what I can do to do something better for my uh, my real estate and for my uh, op opportunity with prosperity and abundance and so when we're looking at that, you know, even if there's something happening with you, you know, if there's something that's that's not working for you right now, and maybe it always was working for you, I mean, it could be something that's, it's maybe a message like, well, it seems like you've been doing that for a while, and so now you need to do something different. You could pivot slight, a slight pivot, or a, a fraction of a pivot, and have a better experience with some of these energies. So back at that Kundalini or the Ascension symptoms, there were a lot of um, opportunities for me to um, express what happened back in 2015, for me to understand more deeply about what I can do for myself. <laughs> Before I was like, you know, I, tr I was like, I don't know, th I was kind of feeling cuckoo, you know, but, but that 2015 energy was a gigantic band of energies and it was powerful strong and it prevented me in a for a period of time where I wasn't able to do my real estate that was a bummer that was like a super bummer but now it's over I'm not even doing real estate anymore so but these but these engagements with different energies or different frequencies or other bands of consciousness are really here to help us and so sometimes we like kind of get flattened out when something didn't work out it didn't it didn't work out you know but then you start rising up into your beautiful state of being and start noticing that there's more things coming for you there's more to know there's more to understand there's more guidance coming forth and and then the best we can do is just sit back you know it's kind of like a show you know we could talk about Shakespeare you know is that we're just we're in a show and then we get to see things from all different angles and perspectives and then we maybe eventually get a better experience and then we might just might have been like you know a series of, of uh, events and then all of a sudden that energy has already receded so for myself that was a period of time that was tricky and then now I have receded from some of those uh, tendencies through the ascension or through kundalini, <laughs> kundalini awakening. what a hot mess
Anyway, so whatever you're working with and whatever you're achieving in your field, and maybe you're like, I can't, I, it's not working, then you go into something different. And I would always say you could go into a breathing practice. You could go into some level of a meditation or an affirmative um, a piece for you to understand about what's next for you. You can work with uh, your friends and your community and helping align with what you're seeking. You can ask for alignment. You can ask for harmony. You can ask for peace or um, consciousness or the innate intelligence to come in. All of these things are available for you. And it, again, like for me, it took me a while. <laughs> so I was not an overachiever at the beginning. <laughs> but now it's, um, it's more um, readily available for people to have a deeper understanding about when things are changing in their consciousness, in their heart, in their body, and in the fields of consciousness that they reside in. All of these are beautiful experiences, and some of these what we call might be like lessons. And so these lessons are beautiful. They're succinct, they help us, and they uplift us. They continue to uplift our consciousness as forms of lessons or divine purpose. So we'll see you soon, and namaste.